When you're trying to determine the size of a rug for a room, I think you want to think about how you're using the room and how your furniture is placed in that room. So for me, if you're looking at a space, I'm trying to define that space, which is the furniture is, you know, around it. So I'm not looking to basically put it in like wall to wall. I'm looking to just define that space or what I call the area. Living room, I think you can do lots of different ways, but I think in, in my way of, of uh, looking at it is I would prefer to put the furniture on the rug, just not all on the rug, but at least the legs of the furniture on, on the rug to help anchor it and also help define the space and make it more cozy and inviting as far as the space goes. So I think the rug having, I mean, the legs of the furniture being rested on the rug helps keep the furniture from sliding away. Bedroom, I, I think a little differently about bedrooms. I think bedrooms is, is one big space. I tend to prefer to do one big rug. And there I would probably look at the room size and try to do it within about, let's say, 18 inches to two feet, somewhere in there around the perimeter of the rug of the, the wall space. So that's usually the way I would personally want to do a, a bedroom. But I think there's other ways of doing it. Another way would be to define those open spaces. Usually there's three spaces in a bedroom. Uh, long side of the bed, which is a little long, more skinnier, we call a runner type size or a scatter type size, and then usually a bigger rug, maybe a 5 by 7 6 by 9 whatever, at the foot of the bed, in that open space at the foot of the bed. So that's, that could also be your proper, very nice. It's a little more challenging when you're mixing different uh, designs and colorways when you're doing three rugs, you know. But you could also do three of the same rug. To me, that's kind of boring, but you could definitely do that as well. Dining room is pretty simple to me because I think you want to have enough um, rug in order to slide back your chair. So basically what I always do is say measure the top of your table, what you leave it at 99% of the time, measure that size, and add 5 feet to 6 feet to that measurement. So basically if your table is you know, 3 and a half feet, 42 inches, which is pretty pretty standard, by 50 or 60 inches which is five feet if you add five feet that'd be a 10 if you had six feet that'd be 11 so i would say either an 8 by 10 9 by 12 is a very common or size we'd recommend for a dining room because you want to have enough to be able to scoot back now there are situations where you have to be aware of your wall space you don't have that much space to put a rug in that size and so i would say at that point you get whatever you can as big as you can in there but i would say that that six feet range is really what i would try to add to your tabletop is where i'd like to see is optimum